everyone, it's Jake at Jake's Metal Chat, and here I am with my third episode of My Metal Vault, where I will be exploring and showing you some of my favourite albums within heavy metal, thrash metal, death metal, black metal, doom metal, sludge metal, folk metal, you name it, all that excellent stuff. And I got an absolute classic here of grindcore and death metal from a band originally formed in Flint, Michigan and then settling in Los Angeles, California. They had the name Genocide from 1984 to 1986 before settling on the name that we know today. As soon as you see the name, you're going to know who it is. As soon as you see the cover of this album, you're going to know the cover and the album. But for anyone that is not familiar with this band, is an essential part of anyone out there who was a fan of extreme underground music. This is an intense, insane, heavy, brutal, and absolutely filthy, disgusting, grindcore death metal release from 1989. This is repulsion and horrified. And this is one of my all-time favourite albums from 1989. Absolutely fantastic band. There's a lot of you out there who will be like, yeah, what an album. Just love it. All of it from start to finish. From start to finish, it's intense. You got the song, The Stench of Burning Death, starting off the album. And there's so many more excellent songs on it, such as Eaten Alive, Acid Bath, Splattered Cadavers. Of course, one song that is the name of this band, Repulsion, The Lurking Fear, Black Breath, Maggots in Your Coffin. The list goes on. And you can see the names right there. This is the re-release, so you've got rehearsal demos, a... Demo from Autumn 85. You got Genocide. Demo from 86. The final demo from it from 91. So on and so forth. Of course, the live show from 86. Couple tracks from that. Let's actually get the book out so you can see the album without the case basically reflecting off of the light. Uh, absolutely. I mean, looking at the cover, you can just see what this album is like. Like the words I just mentioned, like it's it's insane, it's intense, it's heavy, filthy, disgusting, grind called death metal of the late 80s, 1989. It came out on the 29th of May of that year. Some more artwork there. And of course, you have a picture of the guys in the band. Right there. And I got to see these guys first time in Bristol at Temples Fest. Anyone who went to that will remember that festival. They were on the smaller stage at a place called is well Motion slash Marble Factory. And then I saw him again at Netherlands Death Fest 2, I believe. I'll have to look that up again, but of course there's a picture of a picture of when they were called Genocide. Uh gig posters there. Of course, these guys were on Michigan Death Fest 2, along with Cannibal Corpse, Autopsy, Mythic, Baphomet, such great underground bands. Those being the one I've just mentioned on there, Mythic, who will be mentioned in this video, in future videos. I try to find ma mainly underground releases for this, and this was definitely going to be in this list, but I haven't told you what what they're going to be yet and what the other ones are going to be 
And I didn't tell anyone about this one. Some more pictures there. Some more there. For oh, um, Scott's. I know his hair was longer. I thought, I thought it was a lot shorter there, but no, it was just in head banging. But for anyone brand new to Repulsion, oh, this is definitely an album that you need to have in your collection. Of course, we've got uh, Scott and Mr. Shane Embry of, of course, Napalm Death, Unseen Terror, Mr. Shane Embry. And of course, they have a, as is this, the re-release of the book. Got a little uh, tribute to the legend that is Chuck Shoulder of Death, because they did play Scott and, if I remember correctly, I know Scott, yep, was in Death and so was Matt. They were in Death briefly. I think they might have been on one of the demos. I'm going to quickly look that up. Rehearsal demos from 1985. Of course, I can show you the CDs as well, because obviously you got just on this side the full album, and on the other side will be all the uh, demos and live stuff and EPs, and uh, a little bit more artwork in there. Now. I mentioned earlier that they influence bands such as Napalm Death, Carcass, and Terrorizer. And you can definitely hear that influence from on on their in their music in Napalm Death's Carcasses and Terrorizer's music. And I mentioned bands that got overlooked, albums that got overlooked. That's in that list of albums that was overlooked. And it's a shame, really, because this this is an absolute classic of late 80s extreme metal. You know, fans of Grindcore are going to love this. Fans of Death Metal are going to love this. And I absolutely love this. Oh, yeah. Cheers. And it's, I'm not sure what else more I can say about this album, but it's just an absolute monster of an album. It's, it's just disgusting, pure, filthy, horrible, horrible, horrifying death metal, you know. It's just disgusting, horrified, extreme music. And it's just one that people really need to have in their collection if they don't have it yet. I know there's going to be a lot of you out there like, yeah, I got that album, got it back in the day. Or something like, oh, I got that, I got it a year later. And so I was like, didn't know about the album until like nine, ten years after it came out. And there's going to be a lot of people who are like, I discovered this band in 2000 and I'm going to say about 2009. That's when I would have known about them because I was finding out about like bands like Napalm Death and Carcass and Terrorizer around the late 2000s. So I only knew about Cannibal Corpse and Obituary and Suffocation and Morbid Angel. Obituary. Um... I think I already said obituary, but worth mentioning again. Uh, Death, Massacre. And I'm thinking, well, there's got to be more bands. And obviously, found Napalm Death. And I think it was got to be more bands like Napalm Death. What's Grindcore? So, like, it's like Grindcore and one of these, one of many bands being these guys and Terrorizer and Carcass came up. But, I knew when I was going to be doing this video series that I was going to have this in the list. I didn't know when I was going to put it in, but I thought, you know what? 
as put in the third episode. Because I didn't put on my list of videos, like the what I put in the community page, what ones I got for all of the Metal Vault videos. Sort of leaving it as a surprise, but if you would like me to do that in the next videos, tell you what it is. Then that, that's cool. Or, or you want to be surprised? I'll give it as a surprise. And probably a lot of you are thinking, wow, that's coming into the list early. And for good reason. It's just a sick freaking album. Again, and some of my other favorite tracks, and of course, the last track being Horrified and Decomposed and Radiation Sickness. And also, another bit of trivia about this band they also played on the first Day of Death Festival. Which also had Cannibal Corpse and Incantation, uh, All Topsy, um, so just so many heavy bands of that time. You know, to mention again, Incantation, you had Mortician as well, and these guys were on the list, and I'm pretty sure Deceased was on that list as well. Comment down below, so if you're there, you would remember. And, you know, seeing these guys in their prime, if anyone saw them in their prime, man, you... I mean, I, I got to see them, like I said, at Temples Fest here in, in Bristol. And they still got it, because I've seen footage of them here on YouTube, playing that festival and playing other shows as well. And then seeing them... In 2014. Man, these guys are just intense live. And on this album, it shows that intensity, it shows that heaviness, it shows that brutality, it shows that sick, disgusting, filthy, grindcore death metal. And I just lost for words on this because I, when I first heard this album, I was just like, I was instantly hooked. Sometimes I listen to a band like, oh, I don't know about this band. But as soon as I heard this band, and there's very many more albums like that, well, I heard it, I was like, instantly hooked. This one, definitely. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people have gotten that face tattooed on them somewhere. And that's showing love for this album. Having it in your collection on CD, vinyl, cassette. That's showing more love. Having a hoodie, t-shirt, patch. Because uh, I have the logo on my black denim cutoff. Because it's a band that I love. Is a band that I want to see again. And it's a band that I'm showing to you guys for anyone that's not familiar with Repulsion. You may not even be familiar with the other bands I've just mentioned. You wouldn't be familiar with the two bands that I mentioned in the first two episodes of these of this series. And there's going to be so many more for people to be like, didn't know about this band, I'm going to check them out. And obviously, comments I've gotten on the last videos have been like, what, what a collection, like a man of taste, that sort of thing. And, you know, I love the stuff, and, you know, and other bands like Impetigo, which is like this as well, because you would have saw a picture of two of them with one of the guys from Impetigo. But yeah, this is not the uh, original release. It is the two disc special edition from relapse records because this was originally released on the Croesus records and i believe if i look him up now they're not they don't they haven't been a label since 1989 and of course that released dark recollections on there as well as eric did that and the split with cadaver hallucinating anxiety and so on but 
we'll get on to those albums another time. Again, if you love your fast stuff, your, your fast, intense, filthy, pure, filth, disgusting, grindcore, death metal. From 1989, no less. And then this is the album for you. Because from start to finish, it's just constantly punching you in the face with with that wolf sound and you know you get scop with his bass and his vocals and the rest of the guy you know you got the guitars you got the drums and all just you're just like going like you just want to shake your fist through it and when you're seeing them live you if you're at the bar you just want to head bang and at some point you end up pulling a muscle which i actually ended up doing when i saw him the first time and people just going mental in the pit because this is a band that you would get in the pit for and you know it's it's just a it's a band that I have said this before and I'm gonna keep saying it for every band that I'm gonna show here these guys need more love because like I said before this was a band that got overlooked Back in the day, this album got overlooked quite a lot. Same with the other one, the other two that I've shown in, in previous videos. There's not much more else I can say about this, except it's one of my many favourite albums from 1989. I have so many favourites from that year. And you know, and I instantly fell in love with it as soon as I heard it. When I heard the name Repulsion, I thought, let's check these guys out, see what they're like. And I checked them out. And I can't remember at the top of my head which song it might have been. It might have been The Stench of Bone in Death I heard the first time, or it might have been Black Breath. It might have been that one I heard the first time. And... If you love fast, aggressive, extreme music, you're going to love Repulsion. And this was actually, well, this was the only album they ever did. A lot of people might want that, might want them to do a new album. It's like another album that I'm going to be showing in my, on my Metal Vault. Maybe they only need the one album. One album that says, this is what, this is who we are. This is what we play. This is what we do. And yeah, this is Repulsion and Horrified. They came out on the 29th of May, 1989. And what a year for extreme music such as this. And that is it. That is the third episode of My Metal Vault. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy that, please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more My Metal Vault videos and various other videos I, that I have planned. Of course, I have a another episode next Tuesday, as well as a chat. And of course, my favourite death metal albums pretty much every Wednesday. I will record some of those videos early, not on the day as I've been usually doing. I'm a bit tired today, so I was meant to do this video yesterday. But I was I was out all day yesterday, so didn't have a didn't have a time to come back home. As soon as I got back home, I was like, well, it's a bit late. Can't record it. I'll record it once I get back from my day out. So thank you very much for watching this episode. Make sure to check out the other two episodes, which will be, of course, one will be about here. And of course, for more stuff for like my chats, you'll have a playlist of Jinx Metal Chat and up here. You have the lit you have a little circle with my logo in it, which was done by 
the master that is Mark Riddick. Thank you again for that, brother. So that so that you can click on it and subscribe on there. So the clicking down there where is it where you next to the name and where it says subscribe. Whichever way works for you, that's perfectly perfectly fine. So thank you once again once again for checking out my Metal Vault. More episodes to come. More absolute banners of albums to come. I've been Jacob Jake's Metal Chat. And I will see you all in the next one.